welcome students welcome to another video from ua code 127.0.0.1 students in my today lecture i will teach you about how you can use hackbar extension of bug suit in order to test different vulnerabilities if i talked about the hackbar basically uh, it is one of the best bug suit plugin and uh, it will speed up all of our manual uh, payload insertion task and will work with almost all the major vulnerabilities hackbar will work with sql injection and uh, it will work with xxc local file inclusion cross site scripting unrestricted file upload uh, so uh, i will uh, now i will show you some practical example right now students i will use this vulnerable web application for uh, uh, this uh, lecture i will use this website it's a vulnerable web application and now uh, first of all i will show you how you can actually install the hackbar students you can install hackbar from github here uh, from github you can see hackbar uh, file is present here you can download and after download you can install it okay uh, i have already downloaded now i will show you how you can actually install it on uh, click extender i have already installed it i will click on remove to remove it from here here you can see add option is present i will click on add and now uh, extension type is java and uh, by click on select file i will click uh, i will select the hackbar file from here this is present here and uh, click on uh, open file is loaded successfully when i click on next and uh, you can see hackbar is successfully installed here uh, students you can also install hackbar from a b app store here you can see a lot of uh, bug suit extensions are present and uh, if i scroll down uh, you can see hackbar extension is present here hackbar it's also called payload bucket by click on install you can install it from b app store okay now uh, let's do some practical work uh, i will uh, on the intercept mode and now i will move to my uh, uh, vulnerable web application okay uh, first i will show you how you can actually uh, check the sql injection vulnerabilities by hackbar okay i uh, try to log in this vulnerable web application Uh, in place of uh, username i typed here admin and in place of password i don't know actually what is the password and uh, what is the username uh, if i typed here admin and uh, hit entered uh, okay uh, you can see i'm not able to log in this uh, page as uh, i'm not able to log in this page okay uh, if i typed here admin and in place of password i typed anything I'm going to on my intercept mode and uh, I will click to capture my request. My login request is captured here. You can see. First, uh, I will send into the repeater and uh, I will um, turn off the intercept. Okay, uh, students, uh, you should uh, put your insertion point uh, to that parameter that you want actually to brute force. Right now, I want to find the password. so guys i will uh, put the cursor in front of password parameter value and uh, right click here by uh, you can see extension option is present here and now hackbar option is present here right now i try to uh, login bypass that's why i will uh, test this uh, set login uh, bypass and uh, some uh, predefined sets are present here all these are payloads you can uh, use uh, uh, one by one all of this right now i will select the set 1 and if i uh, click on first payload payload is uh, load here successfully now if i send my request and uh, i will right click and the request in browser i will copy the url from here or uh, and now i will paste the url here in order to test either i am uh, successfully log into the this user you can see name is john its credit card detail email and uh, the other details is present here okay uh, students you can uh, test another uh, payload if i remove this payload again i right click and uh, click on extension hackbar login bypass let's try this one okay now uh, response is okay i will right click and now request in browser I will copy the URL from here, move to my browser, and paste the URL here. See, I am successfully logged into the vulnerable web application. In this way, you can test uh, the SQL injection vulnerability by Hackbar. 
okay now i will show you how you can test the cross site uh, scripting vulnerability uh, uh, by using hackbar as you guys know uh, you can test the uh, cross site scripting vulnerabilities uh, by uh, input any malicious code in some input field right now our input field uh, search bar is present here i will type anything and uh, by click on go my request is sent to the web suit uh, first i will move it to the repeater and uh, turn off my interpreter and now uh, students i will uh, put my cursor in front of hello i will uh, i want to actually uh, test the xss cross site scripting vulnerabilities here okay i will right click here and by click on extension hackbar and uh, xss uh, you can see different sets are present here basic image svg html5 meta tag and uh, in basic there are four payloads present here in image uh, different payloads are present here you can take uh, test any one right now uh, i will select from basic first one from basic my payload is select here see okay when i click on uh, send response is okay i click on uh, right click and uh, now i will copy the url from here and move to the browser and check either xss pop up is appeared or not you can see the uh, uh, xss pop up is uh, present here it's mean this web application is vulnerable to the cross site scripting you can check another payload okay if i remove this payload from here right click and now if i click on extension hack bar and now uh, let's see uh, when i uh, uh, use this payload again i'm uh, move to the extension hack bar okay uh, right now i will uh, uh, click on uh, request in browser copy the url move to browser and now paste the url here again an xss pop up will uh, is appeared it's mean this web application is vulnerable to the cross site scripting so guys in this way you can use hackbar uh, okay uh, you can uh, either test uh, lfi vulnerabilities for this uh, vulnerable web application and uh, different vulnerabilities uh, can be tested uh, by hackbar this is all about my today lecture students definitely you will do practice about it i will come to you with my new lecture till that allah hafiz and take care